Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef of Destruction. In the last episode, um, <coughs> we got a few more Millennium items, and uh, we had a bit of a Finkel and Einhorn moment with Sol Shavalsky. Anyway, I have uh, grinded for more cards. As you can tell from my deck capacity, it is now 2650. So I did get the Fiend I wanted, if I just sort by attack. Uh, what I got was Gurnia. Who's a 4 star fiend, he's a 1300 attack, 1200 defense, not bad, not bad at all. And on the dark field he will be increased in power. But that's not the only addition I've made to the deck. Um, I've pretty much taken to like my lower ranked cards, but like my sort of 2 stars or whatever. Well, I haven't two yeah I do have some 2 stars. And I've added in some extra monsters. Uh, so for example, we now have an electric lizard. Which has uh, eight, 850 attack points. So he's a uh, fairly good. I've gotten rid of the flying fish in my deck. I don't need them anymore. So we now have a uh, electric lizard. Uh, 850 attack, 800 defense. A thunder type monster. A small lizard that uses electric power to stun the foe. It can stop one foe on the field from moving for one turn. Could be very useful if there's an opposing monster that we really don't like the look of. Play electric lizard. Uh, uses effect, and pretty much we get one free turn to try and pretty much kill it. Uh, we also have Laughing Flower, because I noticed I didn't have a forest type monster in my deck, so... Well, apart from Peacock, we have to sacrifice to get him. So, we have Laughing Flower, who's uh, 900 attack, 500 defense. Not bad. We also have the uh, Wicked Dragon with the Ersatz head, I believe it's, I believe it's called or whatever. Uh, 900 attack, 900 defense, it's a fiend type dragon. Uh, and we also have Princess of Tsurugi, uh, who's a wind type, um, 900 attack, 700 defense. And last but not least, we have the Goddess of Whim, who's a light type fairy with 950 attack points. Uh, its ability is a female deity who is known for her unpredictably fickle ways. She can sacrifice herself in exchange for drawing a new card. Probably not the best ability, I'll probably use her more for attack. Um, while I'll use things like Hourglass of Life for their abilities. That's pretty much the differences we've got in the deck. Everything else is the same. So let's get going, shall we? And Joey, can you keep, can you keep up, please? Anyway, we're off to go and see the show. M Master Mokuba, please give us one more chance. After all the horrible things you've done to us... I know you were wrong, but... Times are tough. No one has any money. We want to work, but no one is hiring. Please, we're begging you to rehire us. Well, I guess I have something for you. R really? Oh, thank you. All right, quick, get changed. Where's Serenity? Yeah, we'll find out. Oh, it's the Kyber Man show. Let's sit down, shall we? Why not? I like that little noise about us just sitting down. Hey, good to see such a great, great crowd of like five people. Mokuba, did you do this? Did you organize this? No wonder there's such a shit crowd. Look at all those empty seats. Now, on with the new show here at Kyberland. Yeah, help! It's Serenity. What's she doing over there? Help me, please! Someone help! What the hell is going on? Behold, Deep Sea Warrior! I'm Nightmare Penguin! Penguins! I am Judge Man! Robotic Knight, at your service! And I'm Jinzo! You will not elude us again, you brat! Y you're the evil criminal syndicate! The Big Bad Five! Yeah, in the anime they were called just the Big Five, which sounds less sort of silly. They were just corporate slime balls, now they're the Big Bad Five! Ooh! Oh my gosh, everyone! They captured the girl! Of course they have. We're the strongest evil duelist in the world. My calculations state that no duelist has the power. Penguins. 
to make us cower. Don't you start rhyming now, for God's sake, Johnson. So people don't know, the, the, these are actually the big five in these costumes. Uh, you have Gansley, Crump, um, Johnson, Nesbitt, and Lecter. So yeah. If anyone declares challenge, dares challenge our might, we'll crush them with, without a fight. <laughs> cackle, 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 laugh, 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 Must laugh. The Big Bad Five have issued a challenge. Is there a duelist brave enough to face them? I'm scared. Great, you scared Tristan. <laughs> I can't beat the Big Bad Five. Serenity's in trouble. Master Athlete, let's get him. Yeah, let's go kick their sorry asses. Yeah, you the man! Big Bad Five, you're in trouble now! Joey, he's really into this show, isn't he? He really is! You want a duel, kid? Master F will crush you to pieces! Serenity, come over here! Well, that was easy. It's not only much of a capture, really, was it? Joey, you came to rescue me? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, of course! Ah, uh, sibling love. Much better than sibling rivalry. Fine, let's duel! Right, so now we're taking on the big bad five here. Um, you get an Exodia piece if you win. Also, this music, good god. How bad are these guys if this is their music? I mean, that's a good start, don't get me wrong. What's that, Patrol Robo? Yeah. I can beat that. What I'm going to do, because I'm worried about the face down card, is I'm actually going to... Ah, nice, okay. Yeah, I was going to use Hourglass of Life because I didn't know what that was, and I did not want to sacrifice Gurnia because of it. Heavy Storm, oh, come on. That's just not nice. Injection Fairy Lily, okay. Very good defense card, but in attack mode, it's pretty much worthless. Now I think it was a good time to bring in Gurnia. Right. Ah, defense mode. Good to know you're finally on the defensive. Especially now that I have Mammoth Graveyard. Unlike other duels, though, I am going to attack with Gurnia. Oh, it's Prisman. So I could have attacked Mammoth Graveyard. Because uh, if that was a Dreams monster, Mammoth Graveyard would have died, and I would have hated that. Yeah, go Mammoth Graveyard! Show these big bad five that they got bugger all. They got nothing on us. My next move, once Mammoth Graveyard keeps doing its ability, is another Mammoth Graveyard! Yes! Let's get two on the field, why not? And now their abilities stack. So this thing should have very low defense points. Yeah, 500 for Injection Fairy Lily. Usually it has 1500. But uh, with two Mammoth Graveyards on the field, she was down to only 500 and she had no attack. Go Mammoth Graveyard, take that monster down a thousand as well. Why not? A defense mode card. I expect nothing less. Right, nice. I just wish I'd draw my Egyptian God card and like, I know it's the part of the show, but here's God. Here's Slifer. Screw you. And they're like, oh no, don't, okay. Hold on, no, that's not a good idea. Alright, Cyberjar. Okay. In the actual game, that could have been a big problem. Can I win this turn? I think I can if I Hourglass of Life. There you go. Exchange for a thousand life points. We get Mammoth Graveyard in. Yep, and Gurnia. We win. And game over. We have defeated the Big Bad Five. Deck capacity is increased by three. Which we'll never face him again. 800 Domino, and we get. Can you stop giving me Hero Shadow Scout? It's way past my grinding that I've done. Losing to kids is not a good corporate strategy. According to my figures, this never would have happened if we fought with our special strategy. Indubitably so. Observe the true extent of our arsenal. You left us with no choice. Integral fusion! Oh my double gosh everyone! The Big Bad Five have summoned a monster! It's FGD, the strongest monster in history! Until... Well, probably at this point, it's like the, it's like joint strongest in history, but yeah. 
They can't win on their own. We need Kyber Man's help. Everyone, we have to call him. Kyber Man. Ugh. And Roland walks off. Hmm. Maybe he's going to get Kyber Man. Help, Kyber Man. Kyber Man. Kyber Man, help. Hurry, Kyber Man. God, he does a wizard. Jesus. It looks like he heard you. Throughout history, when evil duelists rear their ugly heads, I awaken from my chaotic slumber. From the deck of my golden soul, I draw thunderous power. I am the Emperor of Duelists. Kyber Man is here. I'm definitely not Roland. Yeah, Kyber Man. Come, man, take him out. Kyber Man, I love you. Yeah, 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 I think that's about right. Everyone, thank you. Your positive energy strengthens my spirits. Who do you think you are, Goku, getting the spirit bomb? Come hither, Black Luster Soldier. Also, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Wait, you don't have that card. What, does Kaiba just allow you to take his Blue Eyes White Dragons just for the show? Finally, I fuse the two monsters. To make Master of Dragon Soldier, obviously. Oh, my triple gosh. Can it be? Can it actually be? Yes, it is. The Master of Dragon Soldier. What? Master of Dragon Soldier. Attack! Yeah, so Master of Dragon Soldier has got uh, 5,000 attack point as well. But I believe it gains power for like every dragon at some point. So yeah, it's technically stronger. How dare you, Kyber Man? We'll defeat you next time. Yeah, we're just going to stand here in this amazing costume. Justice prevail always prevails over darkness. Farewell, everyone. Thank you, Kyber Man. Okay, everyone, join us ne again for the next show. Kyber Man's so cool. Dragon Saber Blast! I'm going to summon that monster too. Good luck. Good luck. Roland, you played a good Kyber Man. Thank you, Master Mokuba. Everyone, good work. I'm counting on you again for the next show. Men, he did give us a job. But we were once the big five. Is this job fit for the former Kyber Court Board of Directors? No. No, it's not. I don't want a job entertaining runts. He's off. But where are you going, Big Four? Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! Yep. Yeah. We should go too. Yes, we should. Wait for us! And they're off. Hmm. The Big Five are a bunch of widows, man. I'd hate to be them. Joey, Yugi, Mastrath, wasn't that fun? Let's all watch the show again sometime. Do we have to? Ah. Right. Shizu, I'm ready. We're, we're ready for actually some serious crap. I'm just... I'm not more annoyed at the lameness of it. I'm more annoyed at the fact they gave me Hero Shadow Scout as a reward. Ugh. Anyway. Back to where we're going. It's always important to relax and take a step away from your main mission. For the road to destiny is not a straight path. There are many side roads and streets that you can wander along and get lost and mugged randomly. The more roads you take, the more you will see of the world and the more you will learn. However, Reshef is gaining power far faster than expected. Maybe you should have gone to that instead. Th that's what I've been saying this entire time. We must return to the main path. Hurry and resurrect the Egyptian God Cards. The last Egyptian God Card remaining is the Winged Dragon of Ra. In order to restore the final Egyptian God Card from stone, please hurry and obtain the next Millennium Item. The next Millennium Item is... In a place where prehistoric life forms are preserved in rock. Oh, so... Newcastle then. A fossil excavation site in Canada. Oh, oh sorry, not Newcastle then. Never mind. We might as well do a bit of this while we're here. Why not? We're off to Canada. Yes! Look at all these people. Are you a doors too? Yes. 
Is the lay's fad among duelists to dig up fossils? Some of your buddies are in the back digging. What? There are duelists there? What if it's... It might be the Neil Ghouls. Let's go, Master F. A little bit later. Can I duel you? Nope. Uh, you. Can I duel you? You want a duel, eh? Good God, game! Stereotypical again. Well, I can use a break. Okay, let's duel. Alright, so we're going up against a Canadian fossil excavator guy. Whatever. I'm going to activate Goblin Secret Remedy fairly quickly. And then summon Gurnia. This is the strongest monster in my deck so far. There you go. Into defense mode. So this is the, uh, I believe this is the Wasteland field. Which is, it's alright. Um, it increases the power of all zombies, rock, and dinosaur monsters. I don't think it does, I don't think it increases machines as well like it did in, uh, Duelist of the Roses, but, I don't know. I guess they, I guess it was about time, to be honest with that, they gave machine cards, like, some upgrades, because they were lacking behind. Now they need to do is pyro monsters. Well, and, well, no, fairies, fairies were on mountains, so, yeah. Oh, Electric Lizard, I'll oh, screw you. Do you know what? Do you know what? You're going to pay for that one. Because I have a Time Wizard in my hand. Yeah. I know we're at a fossil excavation site, which means pretty much that you're used to, uh, you know, things that are um, uh, millenniums old. Yeah, my Thousand Dragon is a fair few now. <laughs> Alright, we're obviously going to destroy Time Wizard with Mountain Warrior. Which is, uh... Weak. Very weak, in fact. I'm gonna bring Hourglass of Life in just to kill it. Eh, 100 more attack points. Right, we're not gonna win on this turn, but we'll win on the next turn. Which is a shame, really, but oh well. There you go, 200 life points left for this guy. He is about to lose. Ooh, a defense card and a face down card. I'm not like the look of either. That was a good use of Hourglass of Life. Now we'll take out Jin, the Watcher of Wind, and win with Gurnia. Thank you. We have defeated him. Take passing increase by three. 390 Domino, and we get... Ooh! Actually a good card. Ray and Temperature. It's a Wind Monster Fairy with a 1,000 attack and a 1,000 defense. Very good. Thank you. That was fun, eh? Yeah, I guess so. Instead of looking for fossils, maybe I'll become the king of games. It's a quicker way to become famous. Sure beast digging up old bones. Sure, let's duel. Right, nice. We actually got rain temperature from one of those guys. I sure hope this guy doesn't beat me now. Oh, invigoration. Okay. And he still popped it in defense mode. Oh, Mammoth Graveyard gets an upgrade. Oh, God. Oh, you are screwed. You are so screwed. Mammoth Grave... Oh, you're not screwed. Okay, this is going to suck. Then. This is going to take a while. Actually, no, it's not. I've got a Princess Sarugi in my hand, so I'm good. Just need to wait for this to happen. I'm going to take a drink of water while Mammoth Graveyard's being like, Hey! Hey! Hey, look at me! Hey, look what I can do! Hey, dude, hey! It's like, I, I know! You're awesome, but come on. Ugh. Always lovely to have a pint of water on hand. Especially for uh, recordings and stuff, where you're talking pretty much for 20-odd minutes. Anyway, it's time to destroy that Rock Ogre Grotto. Alright, now, Mammoth Graveyard. Yep, Dissolve Rock. You are dead now. And do you know what? I might as well use Goblin Secret Remedy here. So, Princess Sarugi is really good here because she's a wind type monster. And I believe most of these people, most of these guys have uh, gr uh, earth types uh, monsters. Ground, earth. Yeah. Those guys. So, um, yeah. This should be really good. That yeah, Barrel Rock defeats the Earth-type monster. Do you know what? I'm going to increase my life points even more. Goblin Secret Remedy again. And I'm going to use Hourglass of Life. Because I have enough life points to use it. Mammoth Graveyard attacks directly with two with 2,060 attack. Ouch. Ooh, that's got to... Ding, hasn't it? What are we gonna do now? Ah, you try to attack with Cyberjar. Were you trying to kill my hourglass? Oh, now I have two. 
I think this is uh, well and truly done. Just have a look here. Yeah, this is done. This is done. It took one false move from him and it was all over. Hourglass of life for game. Deck capacity increased by three. We get 250 domino and we get morphing jar. That used to be a good card. But uh, not so much now. Anyway, guys. I'm going to call it a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshuffle Destruction. I'm probably not going to be doing any grinding. Actually, I might do a bit of grinding just to put rain temperature involved. But then I'll be straight back with the next episode. We're going in here. I'll see you then.